Hey guys, today I'm bringing you along two different nights as I clean my entire house. The house is quiet. I have zero distractions. I lit a candle, put on my comfy clothes and slippers and clean my whole house. So get ready for some relaxing whole house cleaning. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel and taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I'm Jamie if you're new and tonight I'm bringing you along two separate nights where I was cleaning after my kids went to bed. I'm also going to be sharing with you three dinner recipes that we had on those nights that I was cleaning. So night one, I just got started picking up the kitchen and living room. And as you can see, we had a lot of dishes and it had been a long day. I will just tell you that. So I was actually looking forward to ending the day with some relaxing cleaning. Tonight, the plan was to pick up things from the countertops, do the dishes, clean the stove, wipe down the sink, the countertops, and I was also planning on disinfecting some of the toddler toys because everything goes in their mouths these days, and then vacuuming and mopping before the next day when I would tackle the upstairs after the kids go to bed. I know I have to pay for the mistakes I made. If you are just stumbling upon my channel and this video, I'm Jamie. I have three small children, a five-year-old and then twin 18-month-old girls. So I am a girl mom. And when you guys come to my channel and you're watching cleaning videos, you are going to see real life big time messes. And it's mainly due to those toddler twins of mine. My house has never been messier since I had them, but I would love to have you join my journey because every single week you're going to get motivating content, cleaning content, and the goal is to give you cleaning tips and hacks and tricks and ultimately motivation to get it done for, from a real life busy mom of three. Watch me just follow every move. Touch me, let me know you want it to. Don't I want you leave? So I will be showing you here soon what we had for dinner, but I made two different things. One was baked spaghetti, and then I made something a little healthier for Mike and I, and it was a baked spaghetti pie so it uses spaghetti squash sausage onion and it's just really good and a little healthier than just normal spaghetti and i actually was able to warm things up for the next day for the kids and they ended up liking the spaghetti squash pie so two different recipes i'm going to be showing you guys here in a minute
So the kids ended up being really hungry and the twins were cranky around dinner time. So I totally forgot to get a clip of the baked spaghetti, but I did have this clip from Instagram. So I'll enter it right here, but I'll have the recipe for the baked spaghetti down below. It's just a little different, a little different spin on regular spaghetti. And then this is my spaghetti squash. The recipe called for baking it in the oven, but you can just pop it in the microwave to cook the squash for about eight to 10 minutes. You add a cup of water in a baking dish put it in the microwave and it cooks the spaghetti squash and then you get the spaghetti squash out put it in a dish cook up some sausage i did spicy turkey sausage and then um, and then i added some spaghetti sauce chopped onion and basil leaves i put it all in a dish whisk up three eggs poured it over the spaghetti squash and then baked it for about an hour and it comes out super yummy again crazy times that evening i forgot to get a clip of it but when it was done um it was really really good and like i said the kids ended up loving it the next night but i will have that recipe linked below as well So to clean my appliances, my all-time favorite cleaner is using the E-Cloth Stainless Steel Pack. So you get two rags. The first one you rinse, you just put under water, and then you go and wipe down your stainless steel, and then you shine it and go over it with the second cloth, and it just kind of buffs it all out. It's my favorite way to clean my stainless steel appliances, and it's just it just does an amazing job. And if you want to check out what the E-Cloths are all about, you can you basically use these rags and you just use water to clean and i know it sounds crazy but i promise it works i will have the description linked down below if you want to check them out and i also have a code for 10 percent off of your order if you do decide to buy anything so if you do make sure you use the code save yourself some money but the link will be down below So the process of me cleaning my stovetop when it's really dirty is first going in with the Jaws kitchen degreaser and I let it sit for a few minutes while I do something else. So as you can see, um, I was able to get a lot of stuff off using the kitchen degreaser and then if it's really bad, I have to go in with a second cleaner and I'm using the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. So I go in with that and I let it sit for a few minutes while I clean my sink and then I go back and wipe it all off. And the goal is always that the kitchen degreaser works and I don't have to go in with a second product, but it just depends on how much burnt on food is on the stovetop. Sometimes the kitchen degreaser does a really good job because it's a really good kitchen degreaser and other times it doesn't. It just depends on the cooking from that day. This is my little Rubbermaid power scrubber. It's kind of like an electric toothbrush, but way more powerful and pointed at the end. And that's what I use on my sink if it's really dirty. And it just allows me to get into a lot of cracks. So that area between the, um, the sink and the countertop, things like that. But I'll have it linked below if you want to look more into it.
time Just want the mood to be right Keeping the low in the night, yeah So long Since I get a glimpse of a light It's blurring out my eyes Oh, we should open up a window And then to wipe down the countertops, I was using the Jaws Granite Cleaner. And if you're not familiar with Jaws, it stands for Just Add Water Systems. So you actually keep the bottles and reuse them, and then you reorder pods that you just pop into the bottles. You can see um, me using these products all over my home. They are non non toxic so great to use around the kids and pets and things like that but i also have a 25 percent off if you want to check those products out and i don't receive any commission or anything for these products i'm just sharing them with you because i think they're really good products they have a disinfectant that i've been using a lot lately as well as a foaming bathroom cleaner a glass cleaner and many others so if you want to check those out i will have a link in the description Cause it's just my habit Just my habit I can't describe it Just my habit And she can talk about it like it's magic The way that she loves my habit Just my habit Just my habit I can't describe it Just my habit And she can talk about it like it's magic The way that she loves my habit So if you guys probably saw me making a drink earlier, it was my Natural Calm, which is just a magnesium supplement. It's a powdered magnesium supplement. Magnesium has a whole host of benefits, especially for women. I drink it every night and just like a warm cup of water and the, the powder and it just relaxes me and I love it. I look forward to it every night. But the next task was to disinfect some toddler toys. So I was going through and picking out the ones that they put in their mouths and use a lot and this is something I try to do often but if you don't clean or disinfect your kids toys that's okay I don't do it very often I you know just my plate is so full I feel like this is one of the things that gets put on the back burner so don't feel bad but anyways what I was using to disinfect was hydrogen peroxide and I was doing some research on the best things to use to disinfect toys and hydrogen peroxide was recommended by the CDC. So I wanted to use something that wouldn't be toxic to the kids, but also something that would kill germs and disinfect. So I went through, sprayed everything down, wiped them all down, and then I was going to let them sit and dry before I went back and wiped them down again. You know exactly how they look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this Knowing it's a risk cause you're using it You've got all your secrets I can seem to move this thing You're pulling me out and I'm right back I'm on the sideline where you wanted me I'm by the back To wipe down my bathroom, I was using isopropyl alcohol wipes. I get them from Target, so keep an out, eye out for them. I think during this time, we have to get a little creative with disinfecting because it's not easy to find Clorox wipes or other disinfecting products. So I noticed that the that the Target near me has started selling these isopropyl alcohol wipes. So it's the Target brand, and I was using those to wipe down my bathroom in place of Clorox wipes. And so I just think, you know, we don't think of disinfecting with alcohol or hydrogen peroxide, but they can be great alternatives.
If you're wondering where Mike is during all of this, sometimes I get asked questions on what he's doing while I'm cleaning. He was actually working and I know it's obvious, obviously later in the night, but he works for an international company and a lot of time he, times he will have to work late at night when he's dealing with international clients from other countries. He also works from home right now and he's always around, you know, the kids. He likes being present during the day as much as he can. Of course, he can't always be around, but if he can be around during the day, hanging with the kids, um, and then he'll just work later at night when they're sleeping because it's important for him to be around the kids as much as possible. So anyways, tonight he was upstairs working. You're gonna find me. I'm a renegade. Uh, I could be the one who saved you from this hard place. We could be as one and we'll escape. So as I'm sitting here drinking some of my natural calm, taking a quick break, I'm just curious from you guys, what type of stuff do you like seeing me add to these cleaning videos? Um, obviously I was showing you some of the dinners we've been having. I just thought it made sense because we'd have dinner and then we're cleaning up after it. So I can always show you dinners, um, recipes. Is there anything else you want to see um, that I could tie into these cleaning videos? Just let me know down below just anything that I can add I know I've added grocery hauls before recipes um, making meals obviously the kids or you know like whatever it is let me know what type of added stuff you like to see in my cleaning videos and I can add it if you guys would want to obviously if it makes sense for the video I can just pop it in there um, but if you do leave a comment, make sure you read the other comments and like thumbs up if you see that somebody else put something that you're like, oh yeah, that would be a good idea or you like that idea because if I see a lot of thumbs up, then I'm like, all right, everybody wants to see this or that and I can make for sure I add it to the videos for you guys because obviously I create content for you guys. I wanna do whatever you guys wanna see um, and what a majority of you guys, you know, want to see here on my channel so let me know down below what type of stuff not just like video ideas in general but what i could add to these videos um to make them maybe a little bit better or what type of added stuff that aren't necessarily cleaning that you would like to see me add so yeah let me know down below we could run away we don't gotta stay i can feel it it burns inside take away the pain we can go and say i can feel it it burns inside Stay tuned for my video that will be going up this Sunday because I bought a new vacuum and I'm going to test it out for you in that video, show you how it works and all of that. I still love this Dyson cordless vacuum, but I needed a new corded vacuum. So make sure you have the subscription, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have the notifications turned on. There's a little bell next to the subscription button because that will be in Sunday's video at 10 a.m. Staring at the stars for hours Cause you're a renegade I could be the one who saved you from this hard place We could be as one and we'll escape We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel it, it burns inside Take away the pain, we can go and say I can feel it, it burns inside me. We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel it, it burns inside me. Keep watching because I have another recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you. It is a crock pot recipe that we all loved. And I'll show you some clips of the girls before they went to bed on night two of when I was cleaning upstairs. Some gates never get to open cause it's too late I could be the one who saves you from this place Baby, they ain't never gonna find me, find me, find me Alright guys, it is night two of my nighttime after dark clean with me. I'm going to be cleaning on the second level, getting the bathrooms and the bedrooms done tonight. So, 
a lot of cleaning left, a lot of hopefully motivation for you to get it done. Um, Mike took care of the kitchen down here. There's just after dinner, he went ahead while I was with the kids, cleaned up the whole downstairs, and then um, I'm gonna get started upstairs. He's gonna get ready to put the kids to bed, and then I'll continue on more with my cleaning. But we had a really yummy dinner tonight. Um, I'll have it linked down below, but it was a win for us, the kids, which that can be a little bit difficult to find a dinner that us and my five-year-old and then 18-month-old twins like. So we all loved it, and it was super easy. So I'll have it linked down below if you guys wanna try it out for your... Take my So I started out tonight in the twins bedroom because they were going to bed first. So as you can see, they made a big mess in their room. And this is Addison and Emery. Addison has the darker hair, slightly darker hair, and then she has more hair than Emery has. <laughs> Emery kind of has shorter hair. I guess that's the best way to tell them apart. But I put them in their cribs. Mike was helping Avery get a shower and I was just quickly picking up their bedroom while they were confined in their cribs. After the twins were put in bed, I popped into their bathroom really quickly to clean um, before I said goodnight to Avery. The twins usually go to bed around 7.30 and Avery is usually closer to 8 o'clock, but it was a bath night, so our bathroom was pretty messy and you know I had to take care of all of that toothpaste mess. socks on the bathroom counter is anyone else surprised it's funny to me where i find socks avery loves taking off her socks and just throwing them all over the house we are working on this and making sure she puts them in her dirty clothes hamper but i was wiping down the mirrors the vanity and i was going to scrub the tub and then i had even noticed that there were some toothpaste that had streaked down the vanity. So I ended up grabbing a quick rag and a multi-surface spray and wiping that down as well. The toothpaste mess is seriously out of control in this bathroom. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. I'm going to have my Instagram right here. Make sure you guys come over and find me. You can see more clips of my kids, more of my real life 
like not just cleaning more day-to-day -day stuff. Um, but if you do come over and find me over there, make sure you say hi. I guess it never hit you. Our conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time. Inside all that greatness in all of your adventures, you're all alone. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple. You thinking that maybe you're not different So before Avery went to bed, I kind of did the same thing as I did with the twins, except she had cleaned up her own room. So I just had to go in quickly and vacuum before I did the master bedroom and bathroom. So here I was making the bed, which I know kind of sounds ridiculous. Like, why would I make a bed before we went to bed very shortly after this? Well, there's just something cozy and comfortable about getting into a made bed. Does anyone know what I mean? I'm, I used to not be one of those people who would ever make her bed. Honestly, if you would go back to some of my earliest videos, I would probably never, like I never made my bed but I got in the habit of doing it and it truly, I find that it makes a difference. Not only does it make a difference when I feel like my bed is made because like during the day, because it pulls my room together, makes me feel like my room is cleaner and I just feel more calm and collected and relaxed when my house is clean in general. So I like making it during the day, but then at night, it also makes it more comfortable to get in the bed when it's made especially in the fall and winter time when it's cold out. So that's why I was making them. Like I didn't put on my throw pillows or anything like that, but just kind of made the bed. Oh, I don't ask for much. No, I don't need that much, yeah. I'll probably get asked about how my kids can sleep through vacuuming right outside of their doors, and they do. First off, the twins have a sound machine, and Avery has an Alexa, um, an Alexa Kids. It's one of those, like the Google Home or whatever they are, um, but she, uh, she plays music when she sleeps. And it's really cool because she can also have it tell her bedtime stories and stuff like that. But all of my kids are really deep sleepers at night. Now, during a nap time, never, 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 never. I would not be vacuuming out here during nap time. But at night, they're not going to wake up. They sleep pretty deep once they go to bed.
the last step of my nighttime cleaning was our master bathroom and I was wiping down the mirrors, vanity, cabinets, toilet. Then I was going to vacuum and mop. And let me know if you guys like these nighttime after dark cleanings. You know I primarily show cleaning here on my channel, but what type of specific cleaning content do you like to see? Do you like nighttime versus morning? Because you know I'm cleaning pretty much at any time throughout the like throughout the week, I clean in the morning, I clean at night, you know, I clean in the afternoon, all of that. So let me know which which type of cleaning videos you, you prefer. Silent treatment, is this what it feels like when your heart is sick and when you bleed? If it's over to say it. Before I wrap this video up, don't forget on Sunday, I'm going to be sharing with you the new vacuum that I got as well as new pendant lights that we put over our kitchen island. So stay tuned for that. 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Can't wait to share. No rain, but we danced around and did mind it. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove, but I guess that's over now. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me mm. Silent treatment is this I'm ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this after dark clean with me. If you did, make sure you let me know. Give me a comment down below. Let me know if you like morning cleans, nighttime cleans. Um, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and... Yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time. Thanks for sticking around this entire video. Honestly, I don't even know what to say if you're still here. You guys mean the world to me. I know I say that every video, but I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. So I guess that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Just be honest, be